right. You got 30 minutes after that, pencils down. No talking, no belching. This is serious business, people. All right, begin. <laughs> Packages sorted by priority code? Yeah. All right. Don't make a belt guy out of here. Hey, I'm not a belt guy, okay? I'm a driver who's wearing a belt for three months. <laughs> okay, okay. Hey, belt <laughs> Hey, so uh, how's my truck looking? I, I need like 10 more minutes. Let me know when it's done. I'm gonna go grab some coffee. All right, go have your precious coffee. Yo, what's up with you, man? I I didn't make you fail the test. No, but you know what? You're the one who said this whole thing was BS and that we should go play pool. Now all of a sudden you're driving and I'm loading. I guess I'm just wondering how that all happened. I guess it happened because I'm not a moron, so I took five minutes to look at the manual. <laughs> Mr. O'Boyle, I love you, especially that part. I'm gonna assume that's just the bell talking, man. Look at that happening. You finally got a bra for your belly. Give me a break, huh? It's not easy for him. When I'm driving this truck. <laughs> you guys are pretty funny. You know, though, you talk pretty tough, but you know what? I don't hear anybody talking crap up here on the loading dock. <laughs> I don't see you up here, Apple Bound. One other thing, you guys gotta get your paperwork straight. You wanna get paid your overtime, you gotta fill out all three forms. The pink, the blue, and the green. Pink goes in my box, the blue goes upstairs, the green is for your files. For those of you with filing cabinets, which I'm guessing is not too many, hello. Can I help you? I'm just here to see Douglas. I'm his mother. <laughs> well, I'm done here, back to work. <laughs> What are you doing here? You forgot your lunch. I, I gotta run, okay? Okay, fine. See you for dinner. No! <laughs> fine, goodbye. Yes. <laughs> Mom, no! The thing is, I don't think Doug's performance on the test is really indicative of what he's capable of. I hope not. He got the lowest score in the borough. Is there any way that Doug could take that test again? I don't know. He's really supposed to wait three months. Mr. O'Boyle, do you have children? A couple of boys, 17 and two. Well, then you must understand, as a parent, what this is like. Sometimes children lose their way, and they need a helping hand, you know? And I'm sure that you would want someone to do it for your boy. Well, maybe I could work something out, but if he fails the test again, I'm screwed to the wall. Believe me, Doug will not take the test so lightly this time, will you, Doug? I won't. You won't what? I won't take the test so lightly this time. 